Hogwarts Legacy just came out today, and I have a goal of being one of the first people to achieve the Platinum Trophy. And if that's going to happen, I need to start getting trophies right now. So I'm going to try and make my character look like me the best I can. Okay, that's the closest I'll probably be able to get. You see, there are some problems with me trying to be one of the first to get the Platinum. First off, I have work. And secondly, if I'm not within the first 100 people to get the Platinum, I'll have to buy my brother a brand new copy of Hogwarts Legacy. And there we go, our first trophy. So I decided on my first playthrough I'm going to do Ravenclaw. And now with my house chosen, I can start attending my classes. And in my first class, I had to beat my opponent in a match of Summoner's Court. So it's tied right now, and I just need to get any amount of points and I can win. And easy, easy, there we go. And our second trophy, first class student. It was then time to take a trip to Hogsmeade and get some supplies for school, including my very own wand. Do I do unicorn hair or phoenix feather, bro? Why is this so stressful? And after finalizing my wand, Hogsmeade had a new visitor. <laughs> he is not coming here to shop. There we go, trophy number three. I then found a secret map chamber, which I'm going to have to find again three more times as each house if I'm going to get the platinum. Oh, nice. Find the map chamber as a Ravenclaw. As of now, the game is still very new, and I want this video to be as spoiler-free as possible. So in the background, I'll show all the trophies regarding the main story. Every trophy from here on out will not pertain to the main story, but rather collectibles or features in the game that are trophy-related. And now with that out of the way, I need to get a combo of at least 100. So this troll has a lot of health, so I'm just going to use my basic attack and try and get the combo up to 100. There we go, there's 90. Bye. There we go. A bit into the game, I was introduced to this new area known as a rumor requirement. It's basically this area where you can brew your own potions. Okay, this should be the last one I need. Nice. You can grow your own plants. I think this is the last plant. Okay. You can also upgrade your gear. Loom for improvement. Nice. Third time's a charm. And my favorite part about this room is where you can capture different creatures and breed them. And I also spent a lot of time decorating this area. So I have just one last species left. I think it should be this grap horn and then I'm good. There we go. I also had to capture this phoenix for another trophy. Let's get you back to the room. And that was actually my 2000th trophy I've earned on this account. One so movements. I'm pretty Remember, sure that this is the last spell I need, and then I'll have every spell. So I think I'll get a trophy. Nice. So these next three trophies aren't main story related, but do tie into the three main side character quests. So I will kind of just gloss over them to avoid any unwanted spoilers. This first one is from Not Size Quest. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. And then we have Poppy's quest. And lastly, out of the three, we have Sebastian's quest. And this next trophy was my favorite in the whole game. So for this next trophy, I guess I have to find a cow and use the Flipendo spell on it 10 times. I do see some cows over there. So I guess we'll see how this works. Defender. There we go, I guess. And now it's time to go back to more normal trophies. Like this one for defeating 50 enemies while invisible. Or this one for stunning 10 enemies with a mandrake. Or even this one for discovering 5 dungeons. 
or these two for completing all the challenge arenas and for completing all the broom races. You take care of yourself. And now it was time for the collectible grind. Okay, I think I just got to follow these butterflies and they should bring me to a chest and I'll get a trophy. Oh, there we go. Well, well. And I think I only have to do that like 10 more times. So around the whole map, there are these fast travel points known as flu flames and I had to activate all 83 of them. So just down here is where my last flu flame should be. So when I walk in this house, I should just get a trophy. There we go. Also scattered around the map are these Merlin trials. And again, I need to complete all 95 of them. So these Merlin trials are just like little puzzles. There's like eight or nine different variations of them. I think this should just be my last one right here. So I just have to, these two symbols, I just have to make them match. And just this side. There we go, that should be it. And for the last of the collectible trophies, I had to collect all the demigod statues, but luckily there were only 33. Uh, and this should be the final statue that I need. Finally. Getting that last statue allowed me to increase my lock picking and gain access to the highest room in the castle. Okay, that should be the last lock. And the room should just be up here. There we go. And after getting a couple more basic trophies, it was time for one last match of Summoner's Court. So I'm literally playing against the teacher who taught me how to play this game. Uh, okay, there we go. 50 points, not bad at all. So he just scored 100. So I'm going to try and knock down his ball and then take his 100. There we go. That's fire. I think we got this in the bag. So he just scored 50, so and we're still way ahead, so we win this pretty much no matter what. There we go. And there we go, that's a trophy for every side quest. And after completing every side quest, I started three new playthroughs, and I found the map chamber as each house. There we go, Slytherin's done. That's Gryffindor's. And Hufflepuffs. But then, tragedy struck. You see, I had one last trophy until I could achieve the Platinum, and the trophy was for getting all collectibles, but the trophy was glitched. But that's not even the problem. The problem is, I also encountered a much rarer glitch where one of the traits did not register properly, meaning I would have all but one of the 603 collectibles. A patch then came out which fixed the glitch trophy, but my much rarer bug was not fixed, meaning hundreds of people were able to get the platinum way before me. This really does suck because I was even in the top 70 at one point and could have definitely finished in top 100, but it's whatever, at least it ends good for someone. Okay, so I got the game right here, and my brother's in the other room, so I have to be kind of quiet, but I'm gonna go surprise him. I got you something. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now you now you're like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. That is all for this video. I'm sorry I didn't actually get the platinum, but if you did enjoy, feel free to leave any feedback in the comments or showing support by subscribing and liking. Thank you so much for watching and see ya.